garage. Today we have a very unusual car, uh, kind of one of a kind. You're all familiar with the Scion uh, FRS. This is one called Maximum Attack. Uh, and we have a little bit of history with this. This was built by a gentleman named uh, Keith Chavonia. He was here a couple of years ago and he built a fantastic uh, Kaiser. Take a look, here it is here. Well, so he was just a kid then. Now he's all grown up. He's a big time builder. He's on the Speed Hunters website, which is a terrific website if you ever go there. Keith, come on in. Congratulations. Oh, Thank man. You, You're all big time now. Thank Look at you. this. Thanks yeah. for having me back. Oh, yeah. We got so much reaction to that uh, Kaiser that you did. It yeah. was really terrific. It was exciting how well it went over. Oh, it really yeah. went over good. Now, how'd you get involved with Speed Hunters and how'd you get involved with, uh, with Scion? Well, um, Speed Hunters was looking for a younger guy who understood the internet right. and also understood old cars. Right. So I didn't know I had something there. Yeah. But uh, we started working together. I was writing for them, started doing some photography. Um, they knew of my Kaiser. They learned that I could build cars also. Sure. And then an opportunity came up with the Scion Tuner Challenge. Now, what is that? Is that something that's put out to uh, all enthusiasts by Toyota? Um, Toyota kind of, or Scion, right. picks three builders each year. Okay. And they compete. The cars are unveiled at SEMA, front and center and a winner is chosen. And what is the criteria? Is it a racing car? Is it the best urban cruise around car? I mean, what is, or you just do whatever it's, you want with the Scion? It's kind of up to the builder and the designer, oh, okay. how they theme the car. Okay. I was told this was the first uh, race car to actually win the Tuner Challenge. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Well, I love this car. When it first came out, we were fortunate enough to drive it. Here, take a look. And as much as I like the car, 200 horsepower was adequate. Yeah, you, you just always need a little, a little bit. bit more horsepower. Right. But I always thought it was a great looking car and a, and a great handling car. Just needed a little more power. And this one has quite a bit more power, doesn't it? Yeah, it's about 300 at the wheels. 300 at the wheels, okay. A stock Scion motor or what? Yeah, it's a stock block. The okay. Scion Tuner Challenge is a 90 day challenge. Okay, you have 90 so days to build a car. 90 day thrash to get this thing done. So we didn't get into engine internals and stuff like that. But as far as bolt-ons, we threw the catalog at it. It's got everything you can do to make power. Okay, what, turbocharger, supercharger? That's a what? Cosworth supercharger, it's oh. the very first one. Oh, very good, yeah. okay. Well, let's look at what's different from a regular Scion. First of all, now these, this is totally, this is your, you added these here? Uh, that's the actually flares? a body kit designed by K-Mira for Speed Hunters. We okay. call it the K-Mash kit for short. Okay. Um, if you're familiar with Rocket Bunny, he's the Rocket Bunny guy. Okay. And we have our exclusive wide body kit for the Scion FRS. Okay, so now, these are, how are they fastened? Have you? Well, that's the trick. Usually there's a screw pocket here. Right. And you rivet it or screw it in. We dry fit the whole kit and then we glued in bolts and okay. we put nuts on them from the backside so it's all smooth. Okay. So these are the kind of hot rod tricks that you're going to see on this car that reflect, you know, my hot rod background. Something else I know is unusual. <clears throat> uh, I imagine with the supercharger you're making a lot more heat. Is that why you louvered the hood or is it just for visual effect. Um, yeah, it definitely does a good job letting heat out. Um, also, the theme that I developed with the designer, Andy Blackmore, was supposed to be a vintage IMSA race car. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of those car ha cars had louvered hoods, um, simple liveries like this, you know, fat tires, sure. stuff like that. So that was one trick we could do that, you know, brought in my hot rod element. It brought in the old school race theme. And I mean, you've never seen an FRS with louvered hood problem. No, I haven't. You know? I haven't. <laughs> And something I love, and this is one of these uniquely Japanese things, these fender mirrors way up here. Yeah. You know, the early Mazda Cosmo, some of the Toyota GTs, they would have these kind of cool, I always thought they looked cool. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like them, but I thought they added a real uh, kind of cool look to the car, being so far forward. Right. Uh, right. You know, and usually you can't adjust it while you drive. You have to get out and have somebody stand behind you. It's a chore, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a whole deal. But I, it, it really looks cool. Now, is this car any lighter than a stock Scion, or is it? Uh, have you done anything to eliminate weight, or is it mostly just visual? Yeah, here? it's much, much lighter. Okay. We gutted the car. Okay. Um, it has no window glass, no window motors. If you look, there's actually not oh, even plus. a channel. Oh, I see. Anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's way stripped down. We dropped a lot of weight out of the car, and you can feel it when you drive it. It's How very, much weight have you dropped? Any idea? I wish I had weighed it. I never yeah, got the chance. Yeah. The build was so short that I didn't have time to. So to 90 do days. Yeah, 90 days. And that's a real art, cutting into a hood with a louver. We use like a what do you call it? We used a huge louver press. Okay. Um, I have a local okay. hot rod guy who does. Yeah, it. yeah, that, that looks yeah. good. Because if you screw up one louver, down, you gotta go back. <laughs> right. We spent, we measured a thousand times and cut once yeah. on that job. And the wheels are what? Who makes the wheels? Uh, Rotiform. They're a local California company. They okay. do one-off wheels. 
Um, so we took a wheel out of their catalog, but we modified the front by blocking off the spokes to get the old turbo fan look. Okay. And then we were able to specify our own backspace and everything, get the wheels to sit just how we wanted on the car. Transmission is stock Scion? or yeah, uh, six-speed yeah. manual. Okay. Yep. So everything drivetrain is Scion? Right. Okay, right. just with an extra 150 horse exactly. or something. Exactly, yeah. Uh, the handbrake there, tell me about that. Is that uh, it's just another little custom touch that we did. Okay, that's um, a stock handbrake it's location. It's a stock handbrake, everything. but we detailed it. You know, okay. We masked it off, painted it, we made a red Delrin sleeve to match the right. shifter and everything else. Okay, and this is all plastic, so the glass is all gone. Wait, wait, is this that's actually window? the glass, yeah. That, oh, that is, so that's yeah. glass, okay. Right. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at the back of the car. Well, I love the, uh, the air jack connector there. What do we have here? Uh, that's actually a dry brake fuel filler. Okay. So, one oh. of the things we did on this car, we did a lot of custom body work and we yeah. shaved the gas door, which nobody notices. Right. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, but we rerouted it all back here. And, you know, in racing, you want to dump a fuel jug in that thing quickly. Right, right. Okay. Very nice. And, of course, the splitter under there. Yeah, that's a Charvoni design product right there. It's okay. a part I've been dying to make for this car. Oh, yeah. It's a great car to unveil that part on. Very nice. And custom exhaust. Yeah, we've got a single tip exhaust, drop some weight from the stock dual exhaust. Very nice. Yeah, it's all nicely integrated. I mean, I see all these little touches. What do we have here? Why? Tell me about this. There's some glass retainer clips. You okay. saw those on old Trans Am cars and IMSA race cars. Okay, so just there for the visual impact? Yeah, or? it's just a nice cue to the okay. vintage race vibe that I we've see. got going on. And of course, it says 86 on the doors and on the dashboard. Tell us the, uh, why it's 86. That's just a reference to the, uh, the history of the car. You had the AE86 model, right. the Hachiroku, as it was known, and then the the uh, code name for this project was FT86 as they were developing it. So, Now tell me about suspension. What's been done suspension-wise? Um, we pretty much completely redid the suspension. It's all adjustable links. Okay. It's got an RSR coilover on it, height adjustable and variable damping and everything. Um, it sit, sits down very low right now, um, both for show and race. And the nice thing is it's a street legal car, isn't it? Well, kind of. We had to get special permission to drive this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's kind of legal. Kind of. Yeah, you know how that works. Right. It's kind of legal. Well, she's almost 18. Yeah, same <laughs> thing. Okay, I get it. Tell me about the color combination. Nicely done. Uh, the Kind of the yellow, the orange, the red. I wouldn't have thought those three colors would look good, but they look good there. Is there any significance to these three colors or just what you like? Yeah, that's a TRD thing. Oh, okay. Um, there were some old race cars that had the yellow, orange, red uh, livery on them. And then we went with the pure white. Um, when I went to the paint store, I told him I wanted the whitest white he had. Right. So yeah. It really does pop out, and with those three colors on it as well. Uh, what do we have here? This is uh, that's a toe strap. Toe straps. Yeah, there's right. another one on the front, and then I actually okay. reused those as door pulls inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. You got rid of the glass. Right. Let's open the door. Well, I went to open, and I just realized now there's no exterior door handle. Yeah, we should. What do you handles. have? Do you have a pull cord? What do you have in um, there? You just use the inside handle to open the door. The inside handle. Yeah. Oh, is that up? Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. There you go, and you aluminum in here. Yeah, we customized the whole interior, made aluminum panels. We, the door panels were flocked, um, which is an old race car trick to They're cut They're flocked. Glare. Flocked. Oh man, no yeah. flocking way. It's not an easy thing to get done. I found a place across the country and built a crate and sent in the whole interior. Okay, and that's what that this is here? Yeah, it kind of has like a suede look. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah. an old race car trick, and sure, I used sure. it as a design element on the interior. And look, oh, a free t-shirt. Is this for yeah, me? Yeah, I brought you a shirt. Oh, um, one of the cool things about Speed Hunters is we have the ability to make t-shirts and things that right. are special and unique. So. Cool. cool. And then a well, bumper sticker for the maybe the Bugatti or... Yeah, the nice, nicely done. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And obviously you've taken out the air conditioning and the sound system yeah. and all of that. Yeah, we all got right. it everything. But other than that, it's, this is what I like. I like cars that look stock and, and, and use stock drivetrains, but just heavily modified so it, I can relate to it. You know, if somebody has one of these, can look at this car and go, I want to do a lot of those things to mine. Maybe right. lube the hood, maybe do the outside mirrors. Stock steering rack and just change the wheel? Yeah, it's got a quick release on it. And then okay. I, um, I can take it off and show you. So Grip yeah. Royal makes a steering wheel. Yeah. Got a nice feel to it. Let's uh, put this back on. Let's open the hood and see what it looks like. Cool. All right, there's the Cosworth Supercharger. Look at that. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, that was the first Cosworth Supercharger. Um, we got to work with them on this project. I got to know one of the head engineers over there. And of course, with the boxer motor, you keep all your 
center of gravity pretty low, huh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, nicely. One really neat thing about the Cosworth relationship was they actually sent me a 3D printed rapid prototype of this unit for test fit. So we were very early in the development of this supercharger and we got to put it on this car. Now in this Scion Challenge, was there a financial limitation? We'll give you $30,000 to modify this car, you can't go over, I mean, or how does it work? Or I wish it, it was 30,000. Oh, it was <laughs> unlimited or what? It's a 90 day challenge. Yeah. Um, and they give you a $15,000 budget. A 15, oh, okay. 15, wow. Right? So as a builder, you need to really manage your project and plan it well. You uh, try to get a lot of sponsorships and partnerships. Yeah, and you're making about two bucks an hour. When it yeah. Comes down to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I was wondering why you didn't maybe go to carbon fiber hood because that would have put you over the limit, right? Yeah, well, you have to yeah. watch what you buy for the right. car. This hood's also aluminum, so it's already pretty, pretty light, light and we yeah. wanted to put the louvers in it. Is it aluminum stock? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Boy, that's a nice looking unit. And, and they're going to manufacture this for the Scion? Yeah, it's on sale now. Oh, yeah, okay. And what does that go for, about 3500 bucks, something like that? I think it's about double that, probably. Oh, really? It's okay. a really nice unit. It's twin yeah. intercooled. You have an intercooler core here and here. Um, and can you keep your emissions and everything with this? Yeah, I think it's all oh, road great, legal great. and emissions legal, yeah. Okay. Boy, nice and clean under the hood. Yeah, we shaved the whole engine bay. I probably welded a few hundred holes in this engine bay. We took the engine all the way out, pulled the heater core out, we had a tucked harness made by Chase Bays to reroute everything and hide everything. Yeah, because you've got no inner liner here or anything. Right, right. yeah. And I kind of like seeing the, the sticky yeah, tires yeah. in there too, you know? You're going to be doing a lot of engine cleanup here after driving Yeah, it does around. throw some rocks around. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's throw some rocks around. Let's fire it up and uh, see how many rocks we can throw out. Come on, let's take it for a ride. As we pull out the garage, we realize that front lip is awful low. So we're going to take that off while we drive it on the street. Come on, let's take that off so we don't ruin it. This is a one-off splitter that we made. Right. Off front lip. So yeah, we definitely want to take it yeah, off. Yeah, you don't want to rip that off. Not kill it, yeah. It's just got a Zeus fasteners. Pops right. right off. It's all quick release. Can you grab that side there? Yeah. So the, and I'll get this side. Just kind of wiggle it out. All right. There you go. Ta-da. One splitter. Honest, officer, I wasn't speeding at all. <laughs> well, that supercharger definitely makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, it makes a pull. But it's still very tractable and practical. I mean, it doesn't feel like a peaky race car. I think it's hilarious. You have the muffler on it now, and it's still pretty loud. Yeah, I, uh, I put a muffler on it so we can drive. But it's still, it's got a header and a three inch exhaust all the way back. It's, it's pretty rude. Six speed or five feet? Speed, uh, I can't remember. Six speed manual. Six yeah. Speed. Thing till midnight every day. I mean, after watching the challenge, I thought this was the most focused car. 
We worked really hard on the theme. Yeah, I mean, uh, this one seemed most true to whatever theme they were trying to do. Right. Well, you know, somebody could buy, this car's been around long enough now, you could buy a two or three year old car for a pretty good price. Yeah. Put maybe, what, 20, 30,000 into it, get yourself a real sports car that really handles, and it's got, like this, 300 horsepower. Yeah. And I suppose if you went into the motor and did pistons and rods and everything else, right. you could probably get 350, 400 horsepower. Yeah, you definitely could. Toyota, it's a race car. I feel like one of those commercials, but mom, you told me to get a Scion, get something sensible. a lot of fun you know it didn't stall didn't have any problems we had that one uh, little overheating problem but i think that was the thermostat stick yeah it cleared right because out. it went it went hot blew off some water and then it stayed at 180 so this is really the first shakedown the car has had so yeah. uh it's really quite impressive and it's uh it's fun to see builders like keith you know they build a hot rod then they build the kaiser then you go to something as far away from those two as this and uh, who knows what your next project will be. But I like the fact that you're diverse and you try all kinds of different things. And a lot of the parts on this car will be available that you can get through Chevonia Design, right? Yeah, we're going to sell them through Speed Hunters right in the store. Speed. So cool. Keith, cool thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Jay. Good to see you guys. Come back with your next project. I absolutely will. We'll thank wait you. for it. See you later. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs>